welcome to today's lecture today we will be studying about the cutaneous nerves which is present in the antero lateral wall of the abdomen the cutaneous nerves which are present in the antero lateral abdominal wall are they are the spinal nerves that is from t7 to t12 that is the thoracic 7 to thoracic 12 spinal nerves as well as the first lumbar nerve so t7 to t11 they are called as intercostal nerves whereas t12 is called as subcostal nerve whereas l1 that is the first lumbar nerve it has been divided into ilio hypogastric and ilio inguinal nerve so in this picture what you can see so you can see this is the muscle that is the external oblique muscle this is the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle then the cutaneous nerves what you are seeing here so all these are the cutaneous nerves which supplies the anterolateral wall of the abdomen so this cutaneous nerves you can see what you are having over here so these are the lateral cutaneous branches whereas this is, these are the anterior cutaneous branches so the anterior rami of the spinal nerve pass around the body from posterior to anterior in an inferomedial direction as they proceed they give off the lateral cutaneous branch and they end as the anterior cutaneous branch so when they come they give rise to the lateral cutaneous branch and finally they end they terminate as the anterior cutaneous branch and they supply the skin so in this diagram what you are seeing all these are the spinal nerves so for the antero lateral abdominal wall the spinal nerves which is supplying is from the thoracic 7 to thoracic 12 that is t7 to t12 so t12 is called the subcostal whereas t, uh, t7 to t11 is intercostal nerves then the first lumbar nerve what you can see here so this it is having two divisions so one this is the ilio hypogastric nerve another is the ilio inguinal nerve so that is the first lumbar nerve in this diagram what you can see you can see three muscles so this outermost this is the external oblique muscle which is cut then you are having the internal oblique muscle that is also cut and this is the transverse abdominus muscle then what you can see over here so this is the rectus sheet which is covering a muscle that is called the rectus abdominus muscle so this is the rectus abdominus muscle so here the rectus sheet is reflected whereas here the rectus sheet is covering the muscle then one more thing what you are supposed to see here so this is called the superficial inguinal ring and this is the spermatic cord so this is the superficial inguinal ring then what you are having here so this is the costal cartilage and these are the ribs to which it is attached so the intercostal nerves that is the t7 to t11 they leave the intercostal space passing deep to the costal cartilage and continue on to the anterolateral abdominal wall between the internal oblique and transverse abdominus muscle so these nerves are passing in between the transverse abdominus muscle as well as the uh, internal oblique muscle so what you can see here so these are the lateral cutaneous nerves whereas these are the anterior cutaneous nerves so these anterior cutaneous uh, branches they pass through the rectus abdominus muscle and they pierce the anterior wall of the rectus sheet so this is the rectus sheet they pierce the anterior wall of rectus sheet a short distance away from the median plane and supply the skin the lateral cutaneous branches of subcostal so here you are having the 12th uh, 12th thoracic nerve that is the subcostal nerve so the lateral cutaneous branch of it along with the ilio hypogastric nerve that is branch from the first lumbar nerve they come close to the iliac crest 
and descend over it and supply the skin in the upper part of the gluteal region. Then the anterior cutaneous branch of this iliohypogastric nerve will lie around 2.5 cm above the superficial inguinal ring. So this is the superficial inguinal ring 2.5 cm above it will lie the iliohypogastric nerve that is the anterior branch. So superficial inguinal ring so that is a triangular gap which is present in the external oblique aponeurosis that is from the external oblique muscle then the aponeurosis what is formed. So in the aponeurosis a triangular gap which is uh, seen. The ilioinguinal nerve that is another division from the first lumbar nerve. So it lacks the lateral subcutaneous branch and its anterior cutaneous branch. So this is the anterior cutaneous branch what you are seeing. So it passes through the superficial inguinal ring and it supplies the skin on the upper medial aspect of the thigh and skin of the scrotum or the labium majora. Coming to dermatomes. A dermatome is an area of skin which is supplied by a single spinal nerve. Here we can see from T7 to L1 there are 7 consecutive dermatomes. So in T7 dermatome is present over the xiphoid process. T8 and T9 dermatome is present just below the xiphoid process and above the umbilicus. T10 dermatome overlies the band of skin around the umbilicus whereas T11 and T12 dermatome is present below the umbilicus and above the pubic region whereas L1 dermatome is present over the pubic region and also on the inguinal ligament. This is the diagrammatic representation of the dermatome. So each what you can see here it has been supplied by the single spinal nerve. So this is T7 just above the xiphoid process here will be the xiphoid process whereas T8 and T9 below the xiphoid process above the umbilicus whereas T10 surrounding this umbilicus whereas T11 and T12 below the umbilicus above the pubic region whereas L1 which is lying over the pubic region as well as the inguinal ligament. Coming to the clinical importance. Initially the pain of the appendix is being referred to the umbilical region before it gets migrated to the right lower quadrant. So this umbilical region is having the T10 dermatome. Secondly the knowledge on dermatome is important to give the nerve block during surgeries like umbilical or inguinal hernia. Thank you for watching.